Hello everyone, this is Dan here with another one of my redstone inventions. This time I've created a pulse delay, which actually sends out the same length of pulse that you put in. And the delay is based on the item hopper here. Some of you might remember this 4x2x3 uh, pulse lengthener that I showed in one of my previous videos. So that's attached to this setup here. So, uh, you know, nothing is better than to actually see it in action. So let's give it a really short pulse and I'll show you. So that's half of it gone. Then once that turns off, it sends off a pulse that's roughly the same length as what came in. And by roughly, I mean plus minus one tick. And that's because, you know, the number of items that pass through a hopper is not exactly the same or, you know, has the same, like, you know, integer value comparison as the number of ticks coming in so it's plus minus somewhat roughly but you'd never have it like you know five ticks greater or five ticks less now the way it works is rather simple there is a bunch of items stuck in this hopper this is a hopper chain which goes in a counterclockwise direction so because there is power provided that all the items are held here when you send in a pulse this turns off meaning that items from here go into this hopper and then into that one. Simultaneously, it sends off a tick, like, um, you know, a pulse into here, four ticks, uh, wait time to get this uh, RS neural latch to turn on, which means that items start transferring between these two, meaning that this turns on, which prevents items that collect in this hopper from continuing onwards. Then this starts counting. Once the counter is finished, it counts one way. It resets the RS neural latch, it counts the other way. Af after it finishes that, this um, comparator will no longer power this block, meaning that this uh, hopper will stop receiving power, meaning that items from here would transfer, continue transferring and go back into the storage. If by that time your pulse is finished, they will get collected here. If it's still going, it'll just start kind of looping and it'll only stop after you turn off this off and all the collected items here get passed. So that actually guarantees that this delay still, you know, keeps the delay and keeps your pulse at the same length as what came in. Now I did kind of do a bit of a change here. This design as I showed you works absolutely fine as long as your um, you know pulse length that you're feeding in is not longer than the delay you are wishing to create and I think that's a, a you know a good assumption considering that unless you want like a minute worth of delay it's simply easier to change all of this to a line of repeaters set like that to just you know go in a straight line or maybe looping around but if you want like a minute delay you're gonna need what i don't know 50 60 of these repeaters and that's when this setup starts to become rather of a good idea so if you're gonna be having if as i said you're gonna be having your pulse coming in and that the length of that pulse is longer than the um, amount of time you're delaying it for, you're gonna have to wish to put in this repeater and put it to four ticks, which would kind of, you know, items get passed through and sometimes it's a zero and a one, zero and a one. So because of that, this flickers as soon as the, um, if this power is on and this already stopped counting. And because of this, it still gets fine. Just remember that that adds four ticks to your, um, you know, delay. And other than that, it's absolutely fine. But I will just use a, oh, come on. Just regular like this, because honestly, for, you know, you're probably not gonna have anything like that. So let's just go. So I showed you a one tick before. So let me show you this five, maybe, you know, much longer. And once again, this is counting, then there you go. There's the signal. And as you can see, it's, Quite a bit longer than the first one and that's because the two are connected like that so let's build it 
So the first thing you need to do is create this um, post lengthener I've already shown you. So block, torch, the two hoppers connected, put a block here, put a comparator into there, create your um, RS snore latch like that, put torch, torch, torch underneath there, put two redstone dust like that, redstone dust at the top like that, and that's it for this piece. Now this is the part where the um, lengthener, pulse extender, whatever you call it. So put that into here, dig a hole, put in a sticky piston, put some random block here, make sure it's solid, put another repeater into here. Let's create the hopper chain, make sure it's going in a counterclockwise direction. I messed up, sorry. Uh, I did mean counterclockwise direction, there we go. So. Notice this actually like an arrow, so you want it to go in this fun this way. So that's the way you want it to go. So place a stone brick on top of that. Place a strong brick here. Put in an L shape like that. Put a torch on top. Put redstone dust like that, and provide power into here as a form of you know some kind of line current, and then take that out. And, and you know, if you want, you can just put the lamp there or, you know, some item plus a torch. But otherwise you're gonna probably need a repeater because otherwise the signal strength comes out as one. So you're gonna still need that. And in case you're expecting extremely long yeah, powers on, you want to turn that on to four. Otherwise just leave it as one. I'll leave it as one. Provide here the number of blocks you want for the delay. So in here, let's say 16. So eight blocks one way, eight blocks the other. That's 16 at 2.5 per, you know, 2.5 items per second. That comes out to something like, you know, um, what, six or seven seconds delay. I'm not exactly sure. But that, and then this is where your signal comes in. So I just do it like, this with a lever or you can do whatever you want and there you go that's all uh, right sorry you should add however many you want into this dropper here uh, just six full of 64 works so that's in this one and that's it now that's it so we provide that provide that it counts halfway done and there's the signal as you saw, it's the same as the signal we went in. If we provide it, now I'll just show you, if you provide an extremely long one, so that's halfway, and now here it goes again. And as you can see, it does this, even though it's counting. So there's still this many, as you can see. So, you know, the, the length of the pulse that comes in is still gonna be the length of the pulse that, or the length of the pulse that comes out is still gonna be the same as the length of the pulse that comes in offset by this. The only problem is this flickering, which is why we put it to four ticks. So it does like that. As you can see, it just provides it a constant. Then we turn it off. And if you actually count it, it'll take care of all of these items, which is in fact, if you notice, it was flickering between 15 and 16, which is eight times two. So the um, pulse offset delay was actually exactly as expected. So that's it, there's the construction, there it works. And as I said, this is just for people who want to replace their, you know, hundreds of hundreds of repeaters with a simple design that basically does the same thing. You just have to put in the items into the hoppers. Realistically, this part here, this line out, can be replaced by a pulse lengthener of your choice. So if you have a pulse lengthener that works for an hour or so, you can use this to delay your signal for an hour. So I just use this because this is my design and um, you know, for me it's one minute delay is what the, like I don't need anything more, but in case you want it in hours, you just replace this part with the uh, pulse lengthener that would handle hours of Pulse lengthening. So that's all I have for you guys for today. As you can see, it's already night and I'm gonna go to sleep. So, night everyone. Have
you know, see you guys around. Done. Signing off.